By using a digital media player, we can access the video content stored on our Synology NAS and display it on a television. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can install and configure Synology's DS Video application onto our Apple TV. Out of the box, an Apple TV is not able to automatically playback video content stored on our Synology NAS. However, if we locate and select the App Store icon, and then from within the App Store we select Search. By using the search bar to find DS Video, we can install an application that will allow us to watch the video content stored on our NAS. Now from within the search results, if we select DS Video, we're warned that the application will require that we own a Synology NAS and that we're running the latest version of Video Station. As this is something that we've already configured on our Synology NAS, let's install DS Video onto our Apple TV. With DS Video now installed, let's select Open. You can see that we're now prompted to sign into our Synology NAS. So first we need to enter the IP address of our NAS or its Quick Connect ID. As our NAS and Apple TV are both connected to our home network, we will enter the local IP address of our NAS into the IP address field. Next, in the Account field, we need to enter the username of someone who has access to Video Station on our NAS. Please note that in order to sign into the DS Video app, we strongly recommend that you do not use the administrator's credentials for your NAS. With a valid username entered into the account field, we now need to enter the user's password. When we select Login, DS Video will display the home page. Let's start by taking a look at the DS Video settings. Within Settings, you will be able to see the version of DS Video being used. We can also see the IP address of our Synology NAS, the account DS Video is logged in with, and an option that allows us to log out of the user account that we're currently signed in with. If we skip to the bottom of these settings, the first option that we will adjust will be Auto Download Subtitles. As this option is on by default, and we don't need to use subtitles with our content, we will be switching this option off. AC3 Passthrough will allow the DS Video app to output a digital signal to speakers that use Dolby Digital Surround Sound. As you may have guessed from the title, playback quality refers to the quality of video being played back via the Apple TV. So if we were to adjust the quality of our playback, our videos would load faster, but the resolution of the video image would not be as good. As our Apple TV is directly connected to our home network, we have no issues with data bandwidth, so we will leave these settings on high. Mark Unwatched Video is a useful feature to enable, as it will mark any unwatched videos with a yellow dot. As this setting is not enabled by default, let's enable this setting. Finally, we have Show Watched Ratio, which is another useful feature that you should consider enabling. When Show Watched Ratio is enabled, a small graph will be overlaid on the poster art of a movie or TV show. The aim of this graph is to simply show you how much of something has already been watched. As we will be highlighting both of these features a little later, let's take a look at the other menu options. First, we have Library. Within Library, we have a number of subheadings which will allow us to navigate through the whole of our video library. Next, we have Playlist, which allows us to see any content that has been marked as favourite or we wish to include in a watch list. Finally, we have the Home Page, which will display the latest TV shows, movies, home videos and TV recordings that have been uploaded to our Synology NAS. The aim of the home page is simply to make it easier for you to find the latest content that you have. As you can see, because we've enabled Mark Unwatched Video, we have a yellow dot next to the title of our content. This dot will disappear when we start to watch a piece of content, so let's open Sintel. You will find that each piece of content has its own landing page, so if the content has been assigned with the correct file name, Video Station will automatically fill the landing page with information about the content you've selected. Let's try and play this video.
As your NAS will be streaming video to your Apple TV, the larger the file size of the movie, the longer it will take before the video starts to play. If we swipe down on the Siri remote, we are presented with information about the video we are watching. It is here that we can adjust the subtitle settings. This includes changing the size, colour and font of our subtitles. As we turned off automatic download of subtitles, we can manually search for the subtitles here. It's worth noting that DS Video may not be able to find the subtitles for all of the video content stored on your NAS. To remove the information bar, we simply need to swipe up on our Siri remote. We can also use the Siri remote to pause a video or jump to a specific part of our film. By pressing the menu button on the Siri remote, we are returned to the landing page for the movie we are watching. If we once again press the menu button, we are returned to the home page. As we enabled show watch ratio, we now have a chart that displays how much of Sintel we viewed. Finally, in the top right hand corner, we have a refresh button. If we have added content to our Synology NAS while DS Video is open, that content will not automatically be displayed. However, by using Refresh, DS Video will check for new content and then display it in the home page. To exit DS Video, if from the home page we press the menu button on our Siri remote, we will be returned to the home screen of our Apple TV. As our DS Video icon is not in a very prominent position on our home screen, if we highlight DS Video and then press and hold down the touchpad on our Siri remote, the DS Video icon will start to jiggle. We can now move the DS Video icon to a different position in our list of icons. If we now press the touchpad on the Siri remote, the position of the icon for DS Video will be set.